All right, so we're gonna be going from the house of Ferrari. So whenever I do a Ferrari fragrance review, I'm not getting paid. I should be. But I do gotta represent somehow. So I got my Ferrari shirt here. Hopefully you didn't see the nipples because I'm a little bit perky right now. I'm working on the man boobs. It's coming slowly, unfortunately. When you're this overweight, it takes some time. Especially when your metabolism slows as you get older. But to class this up, we have to represent with a Ferrari watch. Now the name itself has the name Shine in it. Well, the only thing that's shining in this video, it's not my personality, nor is it my face. It's my hairline. <laughs> not funny, but it's true. Facts. What's going on, everybody? So today's fragrance review, yes, it is from the brand Ferrari. But this one here, I never knew existed because nobody in the community has ever mentioned it on YouTube, not, not even in the Facebook groups. I found this fragrance on FragranceNet and it is a cheapie and it's a pretty damn goodie. The bottle itself is certainly the price tag, let me tell you. It's just a cheap bottle. The sticker itself is pretty cheap and it's starting to fade away. But in the sprayer, it sprays a lot of juice. The distribution is not so great, but this can be very polarizing. So when it comes to the applications, less is more. The top notes of this fragrance are Amalfi Lemon, Blood Orange, and Lavender with the mid bean Thyme, Granny Smith Apple, and Watermelon. I'm getting a heavy dose of chemicals in my face right now. The base is Musk, Virginia Cedar, Vanilla, and Leather. What do I get out of this scent? I get a very heavy burst. It's a slug to the face type of fruity nuance with a very heavy lavender. You certainly get the apple and the citruses in this one. It's, it is very fruity, it's very heavy. As I said, this is a slug to the face. And that lavender as well is actually quite strong. But then it does tone down after about an hour and it is a lot more tolerable. This is, in the opening, quite loud and it does project quite heavily. And the only other note that I was able to pick out is perhaps the vanilla. This is a bit of a synthetic bomb, if you will, but it smells good. It's just, it's really hard to pinpoint what is what in this one. I don't get the woods, I don't get the thyme, I don't get any musk. It's just a synthetic mess that smells pretty good. It certainly has a younger, sportier vibe. I think that with a lot of these Ferrari fragrances, like their Scuderia line, and I, again, I'm not sure if this is from the Scuderia line, but their Essence line is a step up. It's like their luxury line, if you will. But like their Scuderia line, including this, is more so of a, it has that younger vibe aspect. It has, a lot of their fragrances have more of a younger and sportier vibe. This is fun, sweet, casual, quite heavy, quite cloying. Longevity, this was really good. 10 plus hours in projection, this is definitely monstrous. So when it comes to your applications, less is more. Certainly not more than three sprays. Seasons, I would say more so of a springtime, fall, but on Fragrance X, and I think Fragrantica, people are saying that this is more of a summer scent. Oh yeah, if it is, probably summer night when it's cooler because in the daytime heat, this is definitely gonna project quite heavily and I think that it might be a little bit too cloying for the wearer, but also for the people around you. Occasionally wear this one, as I said, this comes across as a little bit of a younger man scent. So I would certainly say that this is a solid school scent. You can wear it to day to day casual and just perhaps a night out. It has a fun flirty aspect, as I said. So if you go to the clubs, if you go to a date, you go to some sort of party, this you could certainly rock, but an office setting, probably not so much. Prices for this one, take a guess. The rest of this line is what, 30, $35 tops? 15 to 20 dollars USD and this stuff lasts it projects smells good people say that nautical voyage is the king of cheapies which it is but this would certainly make the royal family if you will if you were to say that there is a royal family with cheapies this is certainly going to be probably like the prince or the jester my wife says this one she says it's a sweet fun sporty type of scent for day-to-day -day casual and she likes it, but it's for a younger guy up there. And my final thoughts on Ferrari Black Shine. This was a surprise. It was a very good surprise because again, I was not expecting much. 15 to 20 dollars USD. I thought it was just gonna be blah and boring and perhaps shitty, but it's not. 
And I would recommend this fragrance more so to the students out there. And if I ever do like a back to school fragrance video, this will certainly make the list. It has a sweet, fun, sporty, flirty, there is a little bit of sex appeal to this one because of that vanilla note, but it is a synthetic bomb. If you like fragrances that will get you attention and possibly get you compliments from the opposite sex, I actually see this one doing pretty good. And I'm not one for compliments, but I know that a lot of the younger guys are. So just be careful with your applications, you know. This is quite loud and it will choke you out, including everybody around you. And my final rating out of five, Three and a half out of five. The reason why it's not gonna get a little bit less is because it lasts a long time and it's super, super economical. You know, you can't go wrong with this one. So everyone, that's it for Ferrari Black Shine. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, share the video, subscribe. If you haven't, hit that notification bell. My mouth is incredibly dry right now because this is just going on and on. So, so guys, I'm just gonna end it right here. I thank you for your time, take care, and we'll see you later.